Okay guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a simple web in HTML using Dreamweaver. Let's start. This is my material. I'm gonna open this folder and here I have the images folder. It's very important to put this name. Don't use spaces, don't use special characters, just images, okay? And if I open the images, here you can see I have all these images and again, do not use spaces and special character, okay? All right, I'm gonna close this and now I'm gonna go to Dreamweaver, okay? What I have to do, I have to connect Dreamweaver with that folder that I have on my desktop. But you have to decide if you're gonna keep that folder on the desktop, because if you put then on another part of your computer, Dreamweaver gonna break the link, okay, uh, to that folder. All right, first I'm gonna go here to the site and select new site. Then I'm gonna call this one HTML project and I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna browse my local site folder, which is here on the desktop, HTML project, okay? Just this folder, doesn't matter, you have spaces. Select choose and select save. Perfect. And now if you see on the files panel on Dreamweaver, here you can see the local folder and then you can open this one, you can see all the images that you have there. Okay, let's continue. Now, what I have to do, I'm gonna create a new HTML file. How you can do that? You can select here, create new, or you can go to the file, select new. Here in this part, the new document is selected, HTML that is correct, and not, do not use a framework, okay? Then we will talk about that, and just select create. It's very important, as soon as you create the document, save it. I'm gonna go to the file menu and select save. All right, and I'm gonna call this index. That always is the first page you have to call index. Where, okay, is on my HTML project folder. Okay, and select save. And now you see the index page is here on your right panel on the files panel. All right, this is the part that you will see, okay, when you navigate with this, with any browser like Chrome or Safari. Okay, and double check you had the split selected. And here we have the HTML code. All right, now we have to write code. If you see here, I have the HTML, which is the first tag, okay? And inside I have the head and I have the body. The HTML is the wrapper of everything. If you see HTML start here and finish there. Then the head start here and finish there. And the head, you will see all the information that you don't see when you navigate in your browser. It's information like the title, the type of text that you will use. Also, you can put description. You can connect with different, um, for example, with a style sheet, a CSS, okay? You can do many things on the head. But the part that is important in this class is the body. Here on the body, I'm gonna put my, my mouse here at the end of the tag body. I'm gonna hit enter and now I can start writing HTML, okay? Uh, the first part, I'm gonna put my title, but instead to put just title, okay? If you see, you can see title is a very small letter. How you can add style to that, okay? What you can do, instead to type the word title, I'm gonna put H1, okay? H1 start, stand for heading one, okay? Um, by default, the HTML browser is gonna render that with a big title, okay? And the idea, you have to type H1 um, inside a uh, angle bracket. I mean, I, I open the angle bracket, I type H1, and then I have to close, okay? Then I have to open again, okay, backslash, and then H1. That is the idea. And here inside, you can put title, for example. And you see on the screen, the title gonna render like this, okay? But instead to type all that line of code, what you can do is this. I'm gonna show you a shortcut. What you can do is just type H1 and then the key tab on your keyboard. And automatically you will see H1 and here you can type, this is my title. Okay, and then put the mouse at the end and then enter. 
all right okay and that is the idea and it is the same if you see now this is how the text looks like i'm gonna put like this because i'm gonna see that is much better all right um h1 start and h1 finish then here on the second line okay i'm gonna put h2 and the tab okay and for example intro text And you have the introduction and then i'm going to put a paragraph of course you can do the same with the paragraph you can type p and tab okay and then you can start typing the paragraph here inside but i'm going to show you one trick that is pretty cool i'm going to go back i'm going to type p then the angle bracket and then the word lipsum and then you can hit the key tab and automatically dreamweaver gonna insert dummy text that is pretty cool okay all right, and beneath that, also, I'm going to insert an image. Okay, the image is a little different because the, the code for the image, you can type just IMG, okay, and then tab, and automatically look at what happened. You have the image and then the source, okay, inside the image. You can see it's different. You don't have to open image like the H1 and close. It's just this tag. And here on the source, I know, okay, the images that I have, in my project is on the images folder. If I start typing the key with the key I, okay, automatically we're gonna show you, oh, you want to connect with the images folder? Yes, I'm gonna click there. And here you can see you have, you can browse the different images or I can put my mouse here and I can select one of these images. But I would like to see the image. In that case, I'm gonna hit browse and automatically then we were gonna open here. I'm gonna select image. And for example, I'm gonna select one of these images here. Select the number one, for example, and just hit open. And look at what happened. Automatically, you have the image there, okay? You have the image, the source on that folder, okay? And the alt, okay, the alt is the text that you will see as soon you put the mouse over okay the picture on any browser and also the alt is very important for search engine optimization for google for example for screen readers okay and i'm going to put here for example thailand tuk tuk okay all right that is the idea that is what you can do and now i'm going to create the following pages i'm going to save this and now i'm going to create the next page i'm going to go to the file new okay and then select create and this as an exercise you have to create this okay repeat the process and i'm gonna say this page like about okay and i'm gonna ask you here you have to insert three images with three titles and intertext and paragraph i'm gonna do this pretty fast All right, guys, I have here my About Thailand. Okay, Thailand is great with that title. Okay, I can see with all these images. This is very simple. It's just to show you the structure of the HTML, nothing about the design. Okay, it's something very simple. And now at the same way, I'm gonna create the, the next page. Okay, I'm gonna create from the file menu, select here, new. Okay, I'm gonna select create. And I'm going to call this one, for example, gallery. Just save it. Okay, I'm going to call gallery. And then here, select save. Okay. And now I'm going to insert different images. I'm going to enter uh, my H1. Okay, it's going to be images. Okay. And then I'm going to hit enter IMG. And I'm going to insert images from here. You remember images there. I'm going to start for the image number five. Okay. And that is the idea. But if you want to put more images, okay, one of the things that you can do is this. Look at this. Here on the right, I have the DOM bar. Okay. If I open this, okay, I'm going to open from clicking here. You can see the H1 and the IMG. If you're going to duplicate, if you want to put more images beneath, one of the things that you can do, I can go here, right click, and I can select duplicate. Okay, and I'm gonna select again, duplicate, all right? And then the only thing that you have to do here, you have the 
type 05 and here I'm gonna change just the code for the type 06 okay and then for the type here 07 okay it's a way that you can um, change images pretty quick okay you can use the dumb bar in addition if you want here also if I press enter okay just for order and I'm gonna press enter okay and then if I click on the design you have the images side by side because this is not a paragraph it's just three images okay that is the idea I'm gonna create the last page I'm gonna go to the file select new again okay and here I'm gonna call this page I'm gonna save it immediately I'm gonna call this page um, contact okay and I'm gonna select save okay and here and the only thing that I would like to do I'm gonna put my h1 contact okay the only thing that I would like to do is two things first I would like to put a Google map okay and I'm gonna show you something pretty cool what you can do I can go to Google I'm gonna search here for example Thailand okay I can click here over the map okay and here you have the button to share this map if I click there okay select embed map all right if you see you have the map that is medium you can small large you have different or you can custom size but I'm gonna keep this medium if you just click on this code right click and then select copy then go back to Dreamweaver and just Space, okay and this code is a iframe the iframe is another HTML element and the source of this iframe okay is the Google map and here also you have the width the height okay frame border and other information and you can see the iframe finish there okay it's pretty cool it's one way that you can insert Google Maps here okay I'm gonna save and now what I would like to do I'm gonna go back to the index and here Okay, I'm gonna insert a mini bar. Okay, and the mini bar, I'm gonna put all the way to the top. I'm gonna hit enter. All right, now what I would like to do, I would like to create my menu bar. In order to do that, we have to add links. Okay, in that case, we have to work with the A, it stands for anchor. Okay, and then if you hit tab, automatically you have the reference of that anchor. And the reference, what's gonna happen, okay, as soon you click there okay you will go to the page index automatically Dreamweaver is showing me the index page I'm gonna click there and the text that you will see the text that you will see you have to type here inside and that text is for example home okay and that is the idea and now you can see home there in addition I'm gonna put a space I'm gonna put a bar okay a space another a enter okay and now about recognize about automatically and here I'm gonna tie the about page all right and you see now you have home about okay repeat the process with the other one and type space a bar okay and then a tab type here gallery just the G automatically drink is recognizing and here I'm gonna tie gallery space bar space a tab and contacts is the last one and then here contact okay something pretty simple okay and the thing is I'm gonna copy all these all right I'm gonna highlight the line line right click I'm gonna copy and then I can go to the other pages okay I'm gonna go to the body enter and I'm gonna paste okay and you see you will have the same menu then you can put more order here the same menu on all pages I'm gonna copy again I'm gonna go to gallery and then on the body enter paste I'm gonna put more order the indents here and then on the last one paste okay we finish we have the here the index okay about gallery and contact we have all this all right just save all you can go to the file menu and select save all all right and now if you want to test one of the things that you can do you can go here to the bottom part okay this is the real-time preview select for example google chrome click there 
okay, and you're gonna open the page and you have the home. If you click on about, you're gonna go to about, then the gallery, and then the contact page with the Google map, okay? That is the idea, that is the basic HTML, okay? Um, on the next classes, I'm gonna show you how you can add style with CSS, guys. All right, I hope you like this video. See you on the next one. Bye.